Hey guys, welcome back. Another episode of Sunday Morning Mimosas. As always, I'm Slightly Drunk Gaming. Here we got a little bit of footage from Nivelle Nights where Teresa and I, Candy Sweet and I, were getting carried on to victory. Alright, so I wanted to talk a little bit today about some of the upcoming games of 2018 that I'm really excited about. Um, let's dive right in. First up, Sea of Thieves. I think Sea of Thieves has the potential to just be immense fun. You can sit there, you can cruise around with three of your mates and you're on a ship and everybody sort of gets individual jobs. And it's actually a lot like, you know, when you jump into a behemoth in Battlefield 1 where you sit there and it's like, okay, you got a guy who's flying the thing, you got a guy who's gunning, you got another guy who's gunning. Only in Sea of Thieves, you got a guy who's driving the ship, sailing, I suppose. You got a guy who's raising and lowering the sails. You got a guy who's supposed to be on the anchor. You got guys who are running around loading the cannons. And it just, it provides a lot of real, real interesting moments where it's like you're going to be sitting there screaming at one of your friends. It's like, oh my gosh, we need more cannonballs. At the same time, your ship is sinking. And so there's going to be somebody downstairs going, man, we need more people bailing. Why is nobody bailing? And so it's going to be really hectic. A lot a lot of fun it just looks like a lot of fun the art style is sort of funny and quirky too you know if you look at the cell shading it almost reminds you a little bit of like Zelda from Wind Waker um, not quite exactly the same but sort of similar vibe you know and it looks like it looks like just a lot of laid-back fun with some potential for some real crazy and hectic moments another game I'm really excited about coming up in 2018 is gonna be Red Dead Redemption 2 we sort of get to see the continuation of the story. Hopefully we're going to wrap up some loose ends. And hopefully we're going to see the return of Pumas. Because, you know, Pumas and Cougars. I don't know about you guys. I don't know how many times I was sitting there and I was minding my own business. And I was like, ah, yes, a little flower. And then Cougar. So, yeah. Oh, man. Sorry, it was just funny, funny times. If you haven't checked out the original, you should check out the original. I'm sure it's discounted on Xbox Live, and I'm sure you can pick it up for a real good deal. The gameplay was pretty darn good, and the open world, it's just essentially GTA, only in the Old West. So some of the things that you do when you're sitting there and riding around, you know, it's just, if you haven't checked it out, it's worth your time. There's not a lot of games that I would sit there and say that about. One of the other games I'm really excited about is a game called Wargroove. It's going to be on the Switch, it's going to be on the Xbox One, and it's going to be on PC. It's a top-down RPG. I really, really love RPGs. I grew up playing Command & Conquer, freaking Red Alert, a lot of freaking really, really solid RPGs back in the day when I was growing up. And lately, I just haven't seen a whole lot of real, real fun ones. So hopefully Wargroove is going to give us a chance to sort of return to form on that. A uh, little bit cartoony, but it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like it's pretty clever. Some turn-based strategy involved, a little bit of XCOM maybe. You can combine your land, your air, your sea. And yeah, I mean, Wargroove looks like fun. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate it. Um, check out the channel, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Slightly Drunk Gaming. I'd love to hear what you guys are excited about in 2018. You know, there's a whole year ahead of us. There's no reason not to be excited. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. And as always, cheers.